All right, the root center, this is the square at the very bottom. This is a pressure center and a motor center. So you might remember if you saw the crown video that this one is a pressure center, it's the pressure of inspiration. The root is also a pressure center, it's the pressure to do enough in order to survive. It's also a motor center. So it's running your adrenaline, kind of goes in a pulse. This adrenaline pulse and it keeps things going for you. So with this undefined, this can be a doozy. I think I say that with everyone, but it can be a lot because with, again, this is undefined. So life is drawing you in through the center. You're taking in the, in the information from the environment around you about drive, about, about adrenaline, about doing enough. And you're panning for the gold through that. And so with the amplification that comes with the undefined center, this means that you're taking in all the pressure of the root people around you and amplifying it. And so you're more likely feeling the pressure, whereas the defined root next to you isn't so much. 42% of people have this undefined, so that means most people have this defined. This can show up as like a defined person tends to have a better understanding of how long a project will take or how long a commute will take. So they look like procrastinators to the outside world where they wait till the last minute when in reality they can look at a project and say, oh, that's going to take me 30 minutes. Like, I'll just do it 30 minutes before it's due because they know and then they do it. But an undefined route like me is like, I don't know, that could take weeks. And so I just do it and then redo it and then redo it to make sure it's perfect. <laughs> or at least I did in the past um, because I don't know how long it's going to take. So... This one, this one um, is a pressure. So if you have an undefined, then you are getting extra pressure. Undefined root in an unhealthy expression can look like never stopping, like feeling like you, you wake up in the morning, you write 30 things on your to-do list, and then you feel like an idiot if you only got five of them done. When in reality, five was exactly all you could do that day. So ask yourself, Am I in a hurry to get things done so I can be free of pressure? That's huge. If you're feeling pressure to do things, then stop for a second and just get aware of where that pressure is coming from. Look around you. Is anybody actually around you putting pressure on you? Ask, who am I around that is building up this pressure in me? So when I'm around a defined root person, I can tell the pressures going but a lot of times they're not even saying anything to me and they might not even care how much I do they're not even thinking about me or my actions it's just that their root center is pulsing out that pressure that adrenaline that drive and then I'm picking it up and amplifying it so um, this can also lead to a lot of self-worth stuff in addition to the sequel and the undefined heart <clears throat> where if you're not doing enough then you won't survive. So that can be a hard one where you feel like you're running around, you're doing all this stuff because you have to in order to survive. When the open root actually really wants freedom, it really wants to experience rest. So if you have an undefined root and an undefined sacral, you need to allow yourself to rest and to understand that you're not meant to work 10, 12 hour days. You're not meant to just go out and knock out all this stuff. It's fine that somebody next to you like a generator with a bunch of definition who's in their wisdom and doing something they'd love to do, they can work like crazy. And if you're next to them, you don't have to do the same amount as them. You're not meant to do the same amount as them. The open root wants freedom. What does freedom look like to you? What does that feel like to you? What do you need to do to express that? Go back to your strategy and authority to know what tasks are specifically for you. What tasks do you actually need to do today? Not what do you think you need to do in order to prove your worth or what do you think you need to do just to get free of the pressure of this center? Um, because this is all about uh, ambition. Okay, so, so it makes sense that there's that pressure there. Just ask yourself, is this pressure real? Is anybody actually putting this pressure on me or am I just feeling it? And then it's just learning to work with it, honestly, and to understand when it's yelling too much you're like oh no, this is just my undefined root like going a little nuts so so uh, you know maybe maybe this can look like finding someone with a defined root 
even if you don't know, like find someone who is always good at tasks and kind of has a better understanding of how much can get done in a day and just ask them like, hey, can you help me navigate this for a little bit? Like, here's what I put on my list for today, but I understand it's too much pressure for me. So what do you think would actually be realistic? And just maybe learning to sit with it. And you can definitely, definitely hop on Marco Polo to ask me to process through some of that stuff or to share an aha or if there's any other questions or concerns that come up for this one. So again, if there's pressure to do in order to survive, this is an unhealthy expression of the undefined root. Ask, am I just doing this to get free of the pressure? And then check back with your strategy and authority to understand what is actually correct for you. All right.